guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Shapura and on this channel we talk about everything that makes me feel beautiful which is usually fashion beauty and lifestyle and today we have a shoe haul and we're also talking about five summer shoe trends all right so let's just get started if you watched my summer must-have video, you saw that I talked about the Sam Edelman puffy slides. And I told you that I already had the white pair. Um, I told you that I walked around New York City with them and they were so comfortable. So much so that I also bought the black pair. These are just so cute. Now, now one of the summer shoe trends now. is puff. <laughs> We've been doing like Bottega and everything's been puffy lately, bags and everything. So it's no surprise that the puffy shoe trend um, is a thing that's happening this summer. And this is an, an affordable way to participate in that trend. I just adore these they look so cute on the foot i have like a little bit of white nail polish or red or pink those are my go-to summer colors for my toes and um a little ankle bracelet it is so cute you guys i do like the black better than i like the white but there is room in my wardrobe for both the black and the white this is the reason why i got both of them their leather like sam metalman does they're probably i don't know if they're on sale right now but i got them for one 120 and they are just a hit now, there are plenty other puffy shoe trends, if you're interested, <laughs> that are out there. I'm sure I'm putting some on the screen right now. Um, but if you watched my luxury wish list, you know that one of the um, shoes that I was looking at are the Fendi Slides. Um, these are not brand spanking new, but they do have a embossed FF on the front of them. And I've been looking at them and actually thinking about purchasing, purchasing them relatively soon. Um, but then I got these, and I'm wondering if I need both of them. These are a different style. When I need a black sandal, I would have to choose between these and the Fendi's. I think they both have a place in my wardrobe. However, I do feel like these may not hold um, these may not hold style wise for the upcoming years whereas the Fendi would um, but then I was also thinking maybe I could just buy them next year but then they might not be available <laughs> they might not be available next year so what do you guys think let me know in fact I know they won't be available next year because they're hard to find now it's like they're kind of hard to find now I just happen to know a few places where I could get them or one place where it's decent sale but let me know do I need these and the Fendi slides or will there be something else next year some other black slide that I want anyway let me know I like to have luxury but I also like money in my pocket you guys know that um so yeah shoe trend slash shoe haul <laughs> that um, is happening this summer is sandal. the knotted sandal so there are a lot of options I saw so some at mango that I thought were really cute um, but I decided to go with the Sam Edelman version that I showed you in my summer must-have video and I got them in gold I haven't worn them yet so I'm touching the bottom of them if you're new here you don't know that I'm a magpie and that gold is a neutral and then I love everything gold <laughs> so yes I did get them in gold they come in so many different colors you guys um, they do match with my Mantor Gabrielle uh, clutch my gold clutch it's not a perfect match but it's close enough to get away with it doesn't have to really be a perfect match but it is definitely close enough to get away with I'm probably gonna bring these on vacation because they are comfortable I will say oddly enough um, like I said I haven't worn them out but when I first got them I felt like I should have sized up um, and I didn't but I wore them a little bit around the house and they did stretch out a bit I am uh, usually six and a half seven and I got a seven um, because when I read some of the reviews they did say to size up so that's what I did and yeah they were still a little bit tight at first but when I walked around the house they did loosen up now I have a relatively slim foot so if your foot is a little wider you probably do, do want to go up a size anyway so yeah the knotted sandal is another huge trend shoe trend for the summer I like I said I've seen some at mango I've seen some high-end and some low-end of course I will put them below and I'm sure I'm showing you pictures of them right now The 
the next shoe trend slash semi haul <laughs> for this summer is colorful, beautiful, bright sandals. sandals. Okay, so I've okay, got so I've some got mules that if you watched my Zara ASOS haul, you saw that I got these beautiful, very inexpensive, um, from ASOS, lavender muled heels. In fact, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw how I styled them this spring. Um, and of course, it'll be a little different for summer because it's hot. I did get these lavender um, sh uh, mules from ASOS, and they're just... <laughs> so pretty and obviously a Bottega dupe. Now, I know not everyone likes this square toe, which is fine. They also have some rounder toes, a more traditional um, heeled mule look. Um, so I'll up link those below as well. Um, but I am not 100% sold on the Bottega shoe being a classic. So even the thought of spending that much on a shoe that may or may not be classic is a little, uh, it's a little overwhelming for me if I'm being honest. So yeah, I chose and opted for these. These are just fabulous. And honestly, you guys, if they do end up being a classic, I can, oh, they're probably more expensive then. <laughs> but I can always buy them later on if I wanted to. These right now will do just fine. And more recently, I got this lighter blue color. Still inexpensive, still from ASOS. In fact, it's an ASOS brand, another Bottega dupe, and it goes really well with a few things that I I have in my closet and yeah guys this is just a really fun um, it's a really fun way to add some color into your summer wardrobe if heels are not your thing they have beautiful color flats and yeah those are or these are the newest colored shoes that I have in my shoe collection The next summer shoe trend is Birkenstocks or Birkenstock looking shoes. Now, again, I am not fully sold on the Birkenstocks. When I was a kid, was associated with something that I don't want to be associated with. So in my head, it's still working like that. But as I see them styled, I feel like they could be cute. Now, I can't go all the way full Chanel dad send sandal. I looked at them for a while and I just, I can't. Even the Gucci dad sandals, the jelly ones, I can't, I just, I can't go that far, okay? Cause it's just not my style and that's okay cause I've seen some people do it and it looks amazing on them. However, I did get these from ASOS by way of River Island and they have just enough chunk for me and also have a little bit of sleekness to them. And of course, because they were ASOS and River Island, they were fairly inexpensive they are comfortable I don't believe that they are leather but they will do for now and they are a dupe um, for a lot of other Birkenstocks and other higher-end brands and I'm okay with it like I said I haven't fully committed to that style yet um, but they are really good just to throw on with a really nice dress just to add a little bit of chunk and you like I've told you guys I've been looking for a chunkier shoe and these fit the bill so um, yeah And the last summer shoe trend are platform thong sandals. Now I don't have an example or hauled anything for this trend because it's not really me. However, I have seen some girls wear this trend and it doesn't look bad. So if this is your thing and you've been waiting for them to come back in trend, this is your moment. I found some really cute ones that if it were my style, I would buy. Um, but yeah, they're all, they're all over the place from high end to medium to low. If you like them, it is the time to buy them, participate, and rock the mess out of them. Anyway guys, this was a very quick video. I just wanted to share with you some things that I got as well as some shoe trends. If you're not new here, you know how I feel about trends. I can take them, I can leave them, I can experiment with them, I can send things back. I'm really trying to get you guys to realize that trends aren't the enemy. Um, a lot of times people talk about things being too trendy and I have as well, but if it's something that you love, it's okay to invest in. I, for example, think the pillow tabby is definitely the coach pillow tabby is definitely trendy but I liked it so I bought it 
it's about you know balancing and and trying to figure out really what you like and what your style is in fact if you haven't seen my video about how to find your own style I will link it below that really kind of gives insight into um, what you should and shouldn't be buying and really helps you define your own style which kind of leads you to the things that you would like and you would feel good in but anyway I don't want to give that video away go look at it check it out there's a quiz of course I used to be a teacher there's always a quiz <laughs> take the quiz and yeah guys that is it thank you so much for watching if you like the video like comment subscribe share the video and I will see you in my next video